This is morning prayer for Tuesday, September 3rd. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 63. Holy One, my God, how I needed you. My very soul thirsted for you. My body fainted with longing for you, like a dry and waterless desert. Then I saw you in the holy place, gazing on your power and glory. Surely your faithful love is better than life itself. My lips proclaim your praise. Therefore, I shall bless you all my life. In your name, lift up my hands in prayer. You satisfy my body with richest food. My lips shout your praise. On my bed, when I think of you, I meditate upon you in the night watches, for you have always been my help. In the shadow of your wings, I shout for joy. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 28. To you I call, O Lord, my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me, for if you remain silent, I will be like those who have gone down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy as I call to you for help, as I lift up my hands toward your most holy place. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who speak cordially with their neighbors but harbor malice in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds and for their evil work. Repay them for what their hands have done and bring back upon them what they deserve. Since they show no regard for the works of the Lord and what his hands have done, he will tear them down and never build them up again. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I am helped. My heart leaps for joy, and I will give thanks to him in song. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, beginning at the first verse. It was about this time that King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. He had James, the brother of John, put to death with the sword. When he saw that this pleased the Jews, he proceeded to seize Peter also. This happened during the Feast of Unleavened Bread. After arresting him, he put him in prison, handing him over to be guarded by four squads of four soldiers each. Herod intended to bring him out for public trial after the Passover. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. The night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off Peter's wrists. Then the angel said to him, Put on your clothes and sandals. And Peter did so. Wrap your cloak around you and follow me, the angel told him. Peter followed him out of the prison, but he had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. 
they passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them by itself, and they went through it. When they had walked the length of one street, suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I know without a doubt that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from Herod's clutches and from everything the Jewish people were anticipating. When this had dawned on him, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark, where many people had gathered and were praying. Peter knocked at the outer entrance, and a servant girl named Rhoda came to answer the door. When she recognized Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed she ran back without opening it and exclaimed, Peter is at the door. You're out of your mind, they told her. When she kept insisting that it was so, they said, it must be his angel. But Peter kept on knocking, and when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. Peter motioned with his hand for them to be quiet and described how the Lord had brought him out of prison. Tell James and the brothers about this, he said, and then he left for another place. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just a quick reminder that the Gospel or of Luke and Acts were written by the same person. And now we return to morning prayer with the responsory. Open my eyes, O Lord, so that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, so that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for that is my desire. We will continue with the canticle, the song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David, through your holy prophets, You promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and into the, in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue with prayer. The response to the litany is, God of compassion, teach us your ways. God of Jacob, may all who call themselves Christians become a priestly people to the praise of Jesus Christ our Savior. God of compassion, Teach us your ways. 
May all bishops and ministers remain faithful to their calling and rightly proclaim the word of truth. God of compassion, teach us your ways. May Charles, our King, the leaders of the nations and all in authority lead their people into quiet and peaceable lives. God of compassion, teach us your ways. Show your goodwill to all who live in Unionville, the poor and the rich, the elderly and the young, men and women. God of compassion, teach us your ways. Help and defend the victims of our society and those who minister to them. God of compassion, teach us your ways. Strengthen the faith of any who are preparing for baptism and those who have been recently baptized. God of compassion, teach us your ways. Count us among all your faithful witnesses, all the saints who have found favor in your sight from earliest times, prophets, apostles, martyrs, and those whose names are known to you alone. God of compassion, teach us your ways. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, so that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we lift to you, Lord, all those who are suffering in any way, in sickness, in stress, any, any um, grief or anxiety. And we lift to you this morning, Wendy and Keith, Cindy, Gerald, uh, S- Steve Strike Teal's mother and father, Jerry and Ruth, and Lynn's Aunt Eileen. We pray for Tom and Gwen, for Vicki, for Janet Sundarani, for Joe, for Gabe, for Hong Sheng, for Carrie, and for all who are known to you. Please mention them now, either aloud or in silence. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.